Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody in Facebook land, TV land, wherever you're watching. Ho, ho, ho. It's that time of season. I know my video is a little off, but hey, we've got a treat for you. I've got a special guest that I interviewed earlier today, and we're going to play that pre-recorded uh, interview in a little bit. First, let me kind of introduce them to you. This is Santa and Pasco. Santa and Pasco. That's his Facebook page. I met him. We got to talking, and we are actually going to be doing some collaboration. Uh, he's got a book schedule here in Florida where he's got over 70 engagements he's going to be going to, and I'm going to tag along, kind of do a... a interviews with people they're going to see Santa and then talk to him a little bit more. So you'll be seeing Santa a lot uh, leading up to Christmas. So we hope you enjoy this show. Without further ado, let me introduce you to Santa in Pasco. Hello, everybody. Welcome to sunny Port Ritchie, Florida. This is the Ray Amanat Show. Of course, you guys all know me, Ray Amanat. And I am here with Santa in Pasco. Welcome to Hi, the everybody. show, Santa. Thank you, Ray. So uh, I'm sure you're going to be busy. Um, uh, your busy season is coming up. You're going to be going crazy. But before you go and do what you do on Christmas, you're going to be doing a lot of other stuff. Can you tell everyone how you got started um, being Santa here in Pasco? Sure. Um, about four years ago, or actually about eight years ago. Um, this is my eighth season. Wow. Uh, but I went through a difficult time and stopped shaving for the first time in my adult life. And uh, this happened. And a lady that I knew at a local VFW told me you have a pretty good beard and you make a pretty good Santa if you trimmed it up. And if you help my husband with a nursing home visit that he does every year, he'll let you have his second Santa suit. So I thought, well, that'll be a great story to tell the kids someday. And I went and got the beard trimmed and got the curly cue on the mustache and everything uh, and uh, went with my friend Ed and did the nursing home visit and I walked in there playing Santa and I left there believing I was Santa. It was a pretty amazing experience and uh, it's it all started there. So why did you continue doing it you know what's that why why are you still doing it eight years later um it's it's maybe kind of a personal penance because i wasn't always such a great guy um but uh, when i was young I, I had a fairly large family and at christmas time there was quite a few kids around uh and i had a a great grandmother about four foot nine red hair jolly as could be and she would always dress up in a santa suit and we believed that santa was at our grandma's house for christmas and it made us feel special and i'm i most of what i do is to bring that kind of joy to people because it meant a lot to me when i was a kid now, I, I was, we were talking earlier a few days ago, and I was saying when I was a kid, my dad would take my brothers and I to see Santa at the famous and bar uh, downtown and back in St. Louis. And we would stand in a really, really long line 
I've been at that same that mm -hmm. same famous bar and sat on a Santa's lap in St. Louis. <laughs> and uh, you know the the setting, the scenery. They had Christmas trees all over the place. You know, walking up to meet Santa. They. It was kind of like going through Disney World's It's a Small World right, um, scene. Right. And then when we got to sit on Santa, it's, as a kid, I was in awe of it. And then getting the little candy cane at the end, it, it, that was some of the positive childhood memories that I had, which is I get your why. It's, that yep. was the positive thing, and you kind of want to recreate that for other kids. Not only that, but the 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 joy and there's there's just no better word for it the absolute joy in most children's eyes it is just priceless i i wouldn't trade anything for it i wouldn't do i wouldn't want to do anything else at this point absolutely so you know i have um I'm an, I'm an author, as you guys know, but he doesn't know. Uh, I've, I've written a whole bunch of children's books. Oh, awesome. And it's The Adventures of Mushy the Martian. And I have a mascot of Mushy the Martian also. So I'm wondering if Santa and Pasco can team up with Mushy the Martian <laughs> for some of your upcoming events that you're doing. Um, plus you'll have Santa's helper helping you out as well. You know, just, I don't want to take away from Santa, but, right. uh, <laughs> but it, it would be kind of cool. The future meeting the past. <laughs> I'm sure we could work something out. Um, sure but yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll have to introduce Santa and Pasco. Yeah, to, I definitely to want to meet Mushy the Martian. The Martian. <laughs> Mushy the Martian. That sounds interesting. <laughs> So, how can people follow you? You know, you have the Santa radar, but uh, you have your own kind of way that people can follow you and see where you're at and see where you're going. So, right. what's a good way for people to follow you? Um, I have a Facebook page. It's called Santa in Pasco. And uh, that's pretty much the only uh, social media that I use, I, I think some of my stuff goes to Instagram, but I don't really use it. I don't have an X account or, or anything like that, but, uh, you can find me on Facebook, Santa in Pasco. Uh, I'm getting pretty close to booked, uh, already this year. So, so we've got, uh, what is your schedule going to be like for, I guess, are you starting in November and going into December before Christmas? Yes, uh, I start actually next week. I have a couple photo shoots. I, I do some photo shoots, and that gives me the money to be able to do the free stuff that I do. Right. Um, and hopefully cover my costs, because the, this year my transportation costs are going to be through the roof because I don't drive anymore. Um, and the sleigh only works on Christmas Eve, in case you were wondering. Uh but yeah. Um, so this is his summer attire, just so you know, right, since yeah. we're in Florida. <laughs> hey, I, I, I vacation in the in paradise. What can I say? <laughs> I only work one day a year, and that's in the cold weather. So. so a typical photo shoot visit, you go to people's homes, or you go to businesses, or? All of the above. Um, I'm doing uh, home visits this year. I'm doing... Uh, free pictures at park at the park events. Um, I've got a pet photo shoot set up. I've got uh, oh lord, what else? Um, a couple of schools. I've got uh, a big big event at uh, Morton Plant North Bay Hospital. I think it was uh, it's sometime in December. It's on my page. Uh, and that's a big public event. I'll be coming in on a fire engine like I did last year. And it's a lot of fun. A lot of people. My friend, uh, Mrs. Grinch, is <laughs> two-faced smiles on Facebook. She's going to be there. And she's fantastic. Uh, we'll get a lot of pictures there. Have a lot of fun. That might be a good one for Mushy to be a part of also. Yeah, yeah. It's a public event. More than, more than happy to have him. Yeah. 
Um, now, we've had two back-to-back -back hurricanes. Oh. You know, of course, we had Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton. And there's a lot of people that pretty much have lost everything. And you're kind of in that same boat. Correct. Um, you want to talk a little bit about how you want to help the people that have pretty much been um, suffer from the loss of the two hurricanes. Right. Well, I, like like I said, I was affected too. Uh, oh, that was that was those, Your summer home those, here. In yeah, yes, definitely. Um, yeah, that, those were bad storms. Um, and they affected a lot of people and a lot of people that follow my page and that I know. And uh, so what I'm trying to do is this year, um, you know, I usually do my home visits fairly inexpensive anyway, but this year I'm just doing them for a donation. Hopefully I'm, I get enough to cover my transportation costs. Um, I'm not looking to make any money. Uh, I, I just I just want to spread some joy, uh, give your kids something else to think about for a short period of time, see some smiles on some parents' faces, give people some hope. And give people, you know, to get back to some kind of normalcy. Um, that's going to I mean, be a lot. It, it, it's not normal to see Santa either, I guess. Right. <laughs> right. But... It's kind of the storms are not going to rob people of having Christmas or Absolutely rob not. people of that. So, you know, I really commend you for, you know, doing what you do, getting out in the community, uh, putting smiles on people's faces. It's one of the things that I love to do with Bushy the Martian. Um, but here I am. And, you know, it's... I, I, I'm excited to actually, I'll be working with him. I'll be uh, dressed up as an elf and <laughs> we'll do man on the street uh, segments where I'll interview people on what they thought of Santa and, uh, you know, just kind of, you know, keep track of your journey here in Pasco County. It's going to be a good year. My toy drive, um, will be held the giveaway will be on december 21st at off the river it's a place on grand boulevard that has a nice big parking lot in the back i'm gonna have a dj we're gonna have karaoke for the kids to sing christmas songs what day is that uh december 21st from one o'clock until the toys are gone um I'll be announcing where the boxes, the donation boxes are gonna be located within the next week or so. Uh, the boxes are being wrapped now and they'll be ready to be delivered this week. So Santa in Pasco on Facebook to find out where I'm gonna be, what I'm gonna be doing and where you can help. So if you wanna make a toy donation, Go to his Facebook page, Santa in Pasco, uh, when he uh, puts out that post about where the donation boxes are going to be so that we can have a ton of toys for his event on the 21st. First. On the 21st. Correct. Uh, and keep an eye on that as far as where, when, times, and everything else. Of course, I'll be there. Uh, Mushy will probably be out dancing with the kids as well. Um, it's going to be a good time. Yeah. Anything you want to add to or let share with everyone? Um, I personally would like to see more people being kind to each other. Uh, all this, all this political nonsense is behind us. Uh, let's just try to come together and actually come together. Um, you know, we, we all need somebody uh, and we all need hope. We all need joy. We all need kindness. We all need love. I love you guys and I hope to see you soon. And we love you. Thanks, Ray. 
Santa, it's always a pleasure. Looking forward to meeting or working with you. Shall yeah, say. absolutely. Be my and stay tuned for future <laughs> episodes of the Ray Amanat Show. Thank you for watching. And I'm back. I hope you guys enjoyed my interview with Santa. Um, as a reminder, if you have any questions, you can send me an email at info at the Ray show.com. Again, that's info at the Ray show.com. If you want to see all of our previous episodes, you can go to www.obbmnetwork.tv Search for The Ray Amanat Show and you can see all of our previous episodes. You can also find us on Facebook and on YouTube. I'll be posting this shortly uh, to those uh, platforms, so stay tuned on that or more on that. So, again, more information if you want to see. And, I mean, I've gone to his page, uh, his Facebook page, Santa in Pasco. And you could see everything that he's done in the past as far as uh, meeting with kids, going to nursing homes. And there's some priceless pictures in there. You guys just follow him and go check his site out. It's kind of amazing. Now, again, as always, if you need help or if you need to get some kind of help, um, we've got the National Domestic Violence Hotline that you can contact at 1-800-799-SAFE. Uh, suicide Prevention Hotline, especially this time of year where people are lonely, people might not um, have family, and they see all these Commercials and families going to stores, and there is a lot of homelessness, and there is a lot of mental health issues. But you know, if you know somebody or see somebody, uh, get them help. You can call the suicide prevention hotline at one eight hundred two seven three talk. And remember, this time of year, as you do your Christmas shopping. The criminals are out doing their Christmas shopping also. They're just going to wait for you to go to your car and rob you. So if you see any suspicious behavior, report it to Crime Stoppers USA at 1-800-222-TIPS. Again, that's 1-800-222-TIPS. And all, as always, wake the cluck up, America. Keep your eyes and ears open, head on a swivel so that you can uh, more or less make sure nothing bad happens to you, your family, or anyone else. That's going to conclude our show for today. We hope uh, you tune in to our next show. It's going to be a doozy as we've got producer Debbie is going to be in a hot seat with me, and we're going to do a compare and contrast of the birth of our nation, and we're going to have in a couple of years a 250th anniversary for our country, um, and we're going to kind of compare what happened then with the British colonies and uh, England to what happened with this last election. Um, Debbie's been digging up a whole bunch of uh, information that have been fact checked, so don't worry about that. But we hope you'll tune in to that show as it's going to be a very educational show. So thank you for watching, and we will see you guys on the next show.